That's how it starts. You're a brand new reindeer, roughly the weight of a vacuum cleaner, or six pineapples, or three 16 inch MacBook Pro 2020s. In less than an hour, you're already walking behind mum, and after one day, you can already take Olympic gold. Your baby years only last six months, starting in spring, where you're grazing after one week and double your body weight after two. You look around and see thousands of adults and newborns, all herded together on a nice predator-free island in the middle of a lake. You spend the autumn migrating south for the first time, with mum and a smaller herd always following the food. The herd will often follow a female as they're typically more wary than the males. By winter you reach the forest where you see out the colder months of the year, spending your time digging around for reindeer lichen. During December you have your last suckle of mum's milk before fully moving on to vegetation. You're now a fully independent reindeer. To find food in the winter, you have to dig through thick snow, and since you don't have antlers yet, you're fully reliant on your hooves. You dig out a crater to get some tasty reindeer lichen, take your first bite, and next thing you know, you've been barged out the way by a much larger chap. This is the reality till you can put on some size. Two months go on and you migrate back north to the tundra, joining up with some smaller herds along the way. You notice there's some new faces, some old faces, then some faces missing, and wonder where could they be. During spring you have a surprise when two bulges start growing out of your head. They'll continue to grow for the next few months, initially covered in a spongy, highly vascularised skin called velvet. Going into the summer you and the herd are grazing, as you do, when you're forced into using some of that stored energy to escape an oncoming polar bear. Your top speed is double theirs, so this doesn't prove too difficult. Bears are one of a number of predators you have, with the main threat being grey wolves, who can keep up with you. Luckily, you haven't bumped into any of them yet. After that you spend the summer migrating to new pastures, grazing as your antlers keep growing, till the autumn where you migrate to new pastures and graze as your antlers reach their full size. The velvet starts to shed off and since it's filled with red blood vessels, this is a fairly gory procedure. After the velvets come off you take a quick nibble as a dietary supplement before migrating to a new pasture. The autumn will be your first experience of breeding season, but since you don't reach maturity till 2 or 3 years old, all you can do is watch. The year's flown by and it's already December. You're back in the forest digging for reindeer lichen again, when all the adult males start shedding their antlers. The females and younglings keep theirs for a bit longer, shedding them during the spring, which tells us that Santa either only hires females or uses child labour. A couple more years of migrating, grazing and growing go by till you reach your full size and maturity. You are now an adult reindeer. It's the start of winter and you're digging through the snow with your antlers and hooves. There's no carrots around, but you don't mind, because you don't actually like carrots and don't even have the right teeth to chew them. During the winter, your foot pads tighten and shrink, exposing the edge of your hoof for cutting into the snow and ice easier. Your eyes also change colour from gold to blue to help see better in the darker months, a feat not seen anywhere else in the animal kingdom. Your nose contains a dense array of blood vessels that warm up the air as it goes to your lungs, and if that's not enough, you also put on a white winter coat to deal with the colder climate. After spending three months eating nothing but lichen, you join up into a larger herd again and make your way up north. Again, there's the new faces, old faces, and some more missing faces. On the way back you bump into some white-tailed deer, which may not seem like a big deal, but they can do some serious damage. They commonly carry brainworm parasites, which is fine for them with their partial immunity, but can be a death sentence for you as you develop fatal neurological symptoms. One of these symptoms is a loss of fear of humans, which could lead to you ending up in a supermarket as a canned meatball. You move past them with everything seeming to be okay. You arrive at your first pasture for the spring and crack on with munching something that isn't lichen for a change, till some kind of pesky insect starts guzzling down your blood. You decide to walk away and munch elsewhere, but another pesky bug comes for a slurp. As you look up, you notice that the whole herd is being plagued when another reindeer decides to lead you all to a new, higher up, but more importantly, windy pasture. This seems to have sorted the issue. The summer approaches along with the days of continuous daylight. As an adaption to this, you have no circadian rhythm and instead sleep based on when you need to digest food. Throughout the spring, your foot pads have enlarged and become spongy, helping you with traction throughout the summer. You spend your time grazing and migrating, then grazing and migrating, trying to bulk up as much as you can for an important autumn ahead. It's now the mating season, the most exciting time of the year. As a bull, like the chad you are, you give up everything, including eating, to focus all your energy on mating as many cows as possible. This involves locking antlers with other males to become the dominant, giving you access to your share of up to 20 females. This often leaves the males exhausted and injured, debating if it's even worth the fuss. As a female, you stand and watch. Once the season is over, everyone calms down and goes back to normal. You migrate back south with a smaller herd, only a few you recognise now, who knows where the others ended up. 
You're suspicious of the lack of predators, so keep an eye out as you dig through the snow to eat some more reindeer lichen. After the same old winter, it's back north, passing some strange hard ground and odd metal structures that weren't there before. As a female, you prepare for calving season at the end of spring, start of summer, by migrating with the other cows across the tundra, through a wide lake, and onto a fairly isolated island. This should be a nice safe place from predators. You give birth to a single calf, raise and nurture them the same way mum did before they leave you just as Christmas comes. You're back with the usual winter herd and it's almost completely unrecognisable. As you're grazing some veg, two strange animals appear and lead you away. They take you to a large coal building and that's when you start to have a realisation. Turning around to look at your back, you notice, for the first time, a number is sprayed on. And that's when it hits you. Your life has been a lie. You're actually part of a semi-domesticated reindeer herd that's been managed by humans tracking you everywhere you go. But you didn't notice because your life's basically no different to the wild. As you look at the humans and the large building, another realisation dawns on you. You now know what happened to all the other reindeer. Fine, fine, okay, okay, you don't die. You're led into the building, into a cold, dark room. Then, surprise! Everyone's there for a surprise Christmas party, and you'll have fun and happily ever after, etc, etc. There's carrots and stuff, whatever. Definitely didn't want the other better ending. No, it's Christmas, so got to be happy. <laughs> 